time to go kill us another dragon. Cause it's something I've been noticing a lot lately. I've been fighting a lot of fucking dragons. Like a disturbing amount of dragons I've been fighting. It is honestly kind of disturbing. And there it is. I may as well make sure I have my skills ready. Oh, look at that. I can handle facilities now. There we go. Now I feel better. So now I'm really ready to take you on. Let's go, Rathalos. Make your strongest team this no frills battle. You know what? That might work. Even though I can't use a fist. But screw it. So Link, it's time for you to conquer a dragon. Honestly, you need to battle more dragons in your series. Instead of just worshipping them, you should battle more of them. Look at all these strong spirits I have. You know what? This might work out. Why are you making me do- Oh yeah, I guess it does have poison. Well, screw it, let's go to this fight. No holds barred. Let's go. Welcome back to everybody's more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, World of Light. This is your host, the MJ406. And we have our final boss to take down before we can go to Galeem if we wanted. It's a Monster Hunter reference, good old Rathalos. One of the most popular bosses of the entire series. Which, well, yeah, basically, you want to try to get around this boss and all its special effects. It can burn the field, it can roar to stun you. Just make sure you're out of the way of its attacks, because, yeah, the fire lingers, the frickin'. The attack is just strong as a whole. You can also get it to miss some attack so it falls over. You basically want to try two things so you can make it vulnerable. Ow! I am not doing well, though. Oh, how did that not stun you? That's some bullshit. If I get a critical hit on you, though, I can really do some damage. Unfortunately, they don't let you get to the point you can, like, cut off his tail or something. And they don't let you put it in a pitfall or anything. That would have been awesome if I could have actually trapped it in a pit. Yo, if they actually have monsters in those games you can, like, trap in a pit, that would be sick. I would love that capability to actually put monsters in a pit. Make them feel so stupid. Oh, right! Now I remember the Deku Nuts 4. And I missed! Fuck! If I hit it with a Deku Nut, I would have fallen down. I could have stunned it. Yeah, that's the thing. You want to hit it with items at certain times so you can actually, you know, weaken it. You can knock it down so it has a much harder time being able to, you know, stay airborne. Ow! Quit roaring at me! Why does your roar hurt, man? Yeah, that way this boss only gets, like, a little faster and somewhat more aggressive as you do damage to it. Oh, there we go! Right in the face! Yes! Now I can really do the damage on it. Yep! Basically, you try to do the special effects to stun Rathalos. I will say, this is definitely one of the better boss fights in this game. This is a good one. And again, like I said, there's a reason a lot of people like Monster Hunter. That is because it is freaking, you know, the fights you have to deal with some of the monsters this year are like some of the best boss fights in all of gaming. At least to what, I, to what little I've seen and to my understanding from the big fans. Like, yeah, the co-op based nature of it, as well as, you know, having to attack them at certain, like, spots. Like, Damn. There's a lot of thought that goes into it. It's honestly pretty impressive. I can see why people really respect it. That's why I'm willing to give it the love it deserves. Oh, God. At least give it the praise it deserves. I don't want to say to oh, God, why? At least there's room in between so I don't have to take damage. Oh god, he's gonna roar! Run! Or he's gonna dash. That too. Now he roared. Okay. Ah! I see. He got him in the head of the Deku Nut. That's how it works. The pitfall item, he gotta hit him as he's flying. Oh, jeez. I wasn't expecting three fireballs. Jesus. Perfect. Oh, what? Yes! Ha ha! That's right! Eat shit! Ugh! How it feel to be the wig, motherfucker? Oh, I could cut off any part of your body. That would be fucking sweet. Ugh. I remember to guard more. That's something I've been noticing lately. I've not been using my dodges or guards well at all. Yeah! I'm 
roar does stun me. That is fucking annoying. I don't know why they're trying to give me poison immunity, but that does not help this fight. He does not have poison-based attacks. At least I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Make sure it's all fire-based. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! That's right! Eat shit, Rathalos! You think I can conquer all the lands like that? Being a little bitch who keeps getting blasted by a freaking nut. You keep nutting him in the face and he can't take it. <laughs> oh god, it's gross. Ah! Damn it, try to hit him in the face. Oh, come here, I thought you were a fan of nutting! Oh no, please don't start saying that. <laughs> I think he has a weakness to that, though. Wow. Ow! Oh wow, I didn't even think he could use his feet. Oh, that's where the poison comes in. Got poison talons, huh? Shit. Oh god. Hey! Not dealing that preferably. Even his skidding hurts. Jesus Christ. Only like just hitting his tail would stun him, but no. Not like that ever works on him. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, right. Nah, uh, that worked. For some reason, I thought I was like a chart. Oh, you got hit by the end of that. You really take a beating, though. Shit. Ow. You not. Oh! See? The AI for this thing's kind of smart, too. It sees where you are and kind of adapts its attack strategies. Come on. Ugh! I got this! Yes! Ooh, if that fireball hit me, I would have been dead. Let's harvest his organs! Harvest his organs! You can't do that in this game. Damn it! There we go! Don't forget, we get all the bosses in our own spirits as well. Good air attack, one. Wow, you're just like the others. That's not that helpful, honestly. I guess you do more air attack than the others do. But thanks. Get the hell out of here with that shit. <sighs> well, well, with that, the barrier holding Galeem is down. Which means, we can finally take the fight to him. I know I've been spoiling that, but honestly, you saw how he reacted every time we took out a boss, right? Oh, what the hell? No! I love that thing! That was my favorite monster, too! You have any idea how many of its wings and tails are collected? Ooh, stairs. The shield protecting Gleam is gone. Yep, once you take out all three of the main facilities, you can finally take on Gleam. But before we do that, we gotta take care of everything else. So the end is in sight, finally! We are nearing the end of this journey. It took a really long time. It took about half a freaking year. But we're finally there. Also, you can finally use this fucking teleporter. The warp pipe. So that way you can finally warp over here! Thank you, that is very useful. You finally let me do that. Wow, I really caused an earthquake for killing that fucking thing? I guess. Oh god, Tapu Coco! Oh god! I don't lie, I wasn't expecting that. Also, that's incredibly weak! Can you give me something better than that? Thank you. Jeez! 2600? I'm not insane! Ah, damn! Oh, man. I really do gotta get into that series. I've never been one of the big online community games myself. I feel like I tried to do that with Halo once, back when I was in, like, middle school slash early high school. I'm trying to remember when that came out. Yeah, I guess it was, like, my early years of high school, I think, I did that. Ow! Oh, right, I have Zap Floor immunity. It's right. Yeah, have a poker. You son of a bitch, Pikachu. The female with the fighting mask just happens to look like you. But yeah. I never won for a lot of big online communities. I remember I was somewhat that with Halo for a little bit, but that was like it. And well, yeah. Unfortunately, I was still kind of a kid back then, so, you know, people didn't like me a lot for a lot of things. I was usually pretty good, but there were some stupid childish things I did. Like, forcing people to join a party of another one of my friends, or... Well, I never did anything like sending mean messages to anybody. <laughs> uh, the old days of the 360... of 360 Xbox Live. 
all the messages you send to people, help calling them slurs or calling them faggot, that is a slur, and calling them, you know, there's a bunch of names or ridiculing them, basically saying, you live with your mom, you fucking don't have a life. <laughs> Believe me, I was there for those times. Back when people weren't soft. Yeah, as a kid, I always replied to one of them. My brother's like, no, don't do it, don't do it, you'll look like such a bitch. Also, because I was using their profile, so I wouldn't have looked good on them either. I know better now. <laughs> How's the day of being a kid playing Call of Duty? I did play Call of Duty a little bit online, but one of my friends did it all the time, and I watched him play it for, like, Modern Warfare 2, I think. After that, I was just like, eh. I don't feel like doing it anymore. Oh, buoyancy is reduced. Even though we're on moving water, we can't swim here anyway without... Okay, there we go. I was going to say. If the water's always... If we're always moving on this boat, we're not going to last long. We will die before we get anywhere swimming in that water if we're going to be swimming fast constantly. Alright, fine. Fuck you, then! You think you had me cornered? No, it was I who had you cornered. Notice the face of shield for me, too. That's the worst. You not. Ugh. Well, then again, I was always somebody who just wanted to have fun playing online games. And I just got used to talking to people like, Oh yeah, Gears of War community I was also pretty big on, because I was a big Gears of War fan. Still am, just not quite like I was. I was saying, I think Gears of War is the game that got me to stop doing online gaming, because I eventually got into match with, I was playing with somebody, and well, not anybody on my friends list, of course, but I was playing with, you know, random people, and well, you know, you can play some people who aren't exactly really good at the game, and you may, like, want to help them or criticize them, but... Victory! Yo. Fucking kids play games meant for adults, and they're basically telling you, you fucking suck, you gotta do this. It's like, what the fuck are you doing with your life? It's like, yo, I'm not gonna become this. I'm gonna be somebody else who's not this whiny brat who's just gonna rip on everybody for not being as good at the game as he is, or she is. Ooh, Shantae. I could always go for you. God, I wish you were a fighter in this game. I still wish that you were one of my most desired fighters. That's me being a big fanboy, though. I understand not many people are into it like that. But yeah, that was kind of the thing that got me out of it, because I realized how toxic people could be. Even your own teammates just ripping you apart. Like, man. At least with Halo, people were friendly. We had a good time. Now I at least stopped doing voice chat after that. Actually, I think I was doing voice chat then, and that kid was just being a little bitch. I'm willing to say, that kid was a little bitch. If you're a kid playing an online multiplayer game, I'm sorry, you deserve it. You're playing the adults. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to try to say it out loud, I know there's a kid on there, but, you know, if you're going to be a little dick, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come after you a little bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a little mad. <laughs> See, look what you transformed me into. Jesus Christ. My god, Fox, can you slow down a little bit? What the fuck, dude? Oh, I get why they have transformation items, right? That makes sense. Dude, you should be a harpy, not a freaking tanuki. And also, she can't grow giant either. Plus, you have to have a fucking elephant. Get the hell out of here already, Zero from Samus. This isn't you. This will never be you. At least I need to get another Metroid Mania character, so at least it makes sense. Ow! You knock it off, bitch! Not a fan of anything you're doing. But I've always hated the online communities for some games. I'll say, it's weirdly enough, one of the online communities I was actually good with recently was freaking the Mario Party community. Of all things, ow! As hack toxic as people can be for fucking Mario Party. The way they handle it for fucking Mario Party Superstar is actually kind of nice. All you have are the stickers and frickin', well, at least you have the option to mute them if people are just spamming the stickers to annoy the fuck out of you. Go! Imagine having it done in a way where it didn't feel like people are, like, gonna be mean to you. Or you, like, cancel them out if they were. And you still have, you know, the rage quitting and stuff, so you still have that stuff that could ruin it anyway, so. Oh, yes. One of the ultimate troll moves. Rage quitting. Nothing cool about rage quitting. Nothing at all. Shit. Ruined my whole fucking attack! Damn you! Damn it, what the hell? Shit. 
And now this, this transformation will somehow last forever. I have a feeling. There we go. Wow, we're getting a lot of poison mushrooms this time. Yeah, you know to avoid me because you know I'll kill you if I get the chance like that. There we go. Another spear with three slots. Oh. I can only use some three slot spirits. Major, major slottage. Well, again, shooters are some of the worst communities. I mean, yeah. If you want to hear people ridicule you over a video game, that is definitely the ultimate spot to go for it. <laughs> oh, God. Some of them take some of it so seriously. I'm thankfully because of them. I've developed to the point where, you know, I may take some video games seriously and try to have fun playing with people, but, you know, I'm not going to fully dedicate myself to being so good at the craft I can, like, beat anybody easily. And if somebody beats me, I'm not going to be, like, super upset about it. I'm just going to, you know, good match, dude, good match. I can be upset how a match turns out, but I'm not going to ridicule you for it. I'm just going to be mad at the game instead. <laughs> like some always say, it's either you win a match because you're clearly better than your opponent, or you lost because the game was unfair and they managed to cheat and find a way. They always find a way to cheat around your skills. <laughs> That's always how it is. They always cheat. Every time. Oh, man. I do kind of miss the old... The old internet days like that, though. Feels like something was lost with the way online gaming is now. Or it's like I've tried to get away from it. Thank you, so many people know. That's why so many people are starting to avoid voice chat, unless they're in a party with their own close friends. Which, honestly, I like it better that way. Not having to chat with people. Because I'd rather play the game, let my actions do the talking, you know? As long as you know how the game is played, I'd expect you to know what to do. We don't need to chat about it. And again, I guess for competitive things like shooters, I guess it makes sense to be able to do that. It's nice to vocalize the strategy so that way you know what you're doing. But again, I still agree it's better to do it with friends anyway. Oh, that punch did so much. You want another? How about another? Oh, no you didn't. Oh, no you didn't! Grab me to death. Oh! I could have KO punched her, but I didn't need to. There's something about how unfiltered some of the online community was, though. It is kind of funny, but also kind of terrifying, just how much it is. Like, holy shit. Like, other regular people, like, they have conversations with people, they'd be shocked by some of the things they'd hear from, like, the old online days. And, uh, Xbox 360 is ridiculed for it the most, because it was, like, the most toxic. It was... Oh my god, it was unfiltered. It was terrible sometimes. Like, Jesus Christ. It was bad. Some days there were just awful. Oh, yeah. I guess another one I was decent with for some reason. Ooh, Wart. Another one I was decent with I forgot was the Guitar Hero community. Because I forgot I was big in the music games back when I was good. Guitar Hero and Rock Band I was obsessed with them. I was actually pretty freaking good at them. I got the number one record in the world in one of the parts for a DLC song. At least for a little while I did. So, you know, I remember playing with some people online. A lot of them would friend request me because I was, you know, fun to play with and I was pretty freaking good. I remember one time in a session of Rock Band, we had, like, somebody playing the drums and me and one other person were, like, trading off between, like, the lead guitar and the bass. It was a fun time. Guitar was my best part, of course, because Guitar Hero was where I started. I keep not realizing how much I actually really like music games. I don't know, there's something about it, like being able to beat along with the rhythm to music that can be pretty freaking good sometimes. Oh, the creep! I heard that! Oh! That was devastating! Jesus Christ! Yeah, there's just something about, you know, being able to play along with the music, even if you weren't really playing the music. Like, you know, just from a video game standpoint, it was, like, nice to have. Oh, God, flying, man. That's not terrifying or anything. Oh, no. I have a feeling I know it's about to come up, and I am going to hate it. I have another fighter, at least. Good. Try to hopefully get to the play and unlock at least one fighter every episode. That would be wonderful. Mm, not Elf. Why, Elf? All right, just have to destroy Ness. That's all I gotta do. Ready? Or no, I gotta... 
I gotta kill Flying Man five times. Right, that's what it is. Ness is just in the way. This is about the Flying Man, not him. Well, yes, they're about to defend him. Right now, you're killing the Flying Man. It's weird having actual stocks involved in a freaking. Oh my god, this is gonna be so bad. Why do I have to be Alf? Yeah, you don't have to kill Ness, it's just better if you do. I'm freaking tired of getting the freaking. Rhythm Heaven guys! They freaking ruin everything! Chorus Kids make it so much more difficult! I was a little afraid for a second I was gonna go off the abyss. Just a little afraid. Oh, I'm not gonna survive this unless I kill Ness. Ew, baby! Okay, there we go. I'll make this a lot easier for me. Having only flying men to deal with, I actually stand a chance. Not a good one, but a chance. There we go. Two more. Nope. Oh, shit. No! I think I'm dead. Crap, he's gonna beat me up. No! What? What to the stage? That's dick move. That really threw me off. I was not expecting to be fucking thrown out of the stage. Uh, if I can at least get that fighter, I'll be happy. That's all I want. Just let me get the fighter, please. I'm gonna get around this difficult fight first. They I mean, fucking Olimar fucking ruins Ready? everything! Go! Basically, Olimar. I know I'm there. Just gotta use the killing edge for my advantage. Got a Pikmin if I can remember to do so. Can you leave me alone, bro? Mm. Nice. As long as I can kill Ness early on, I stand a pretty good chance at this. Yes! Hey, give me back my killing edge, bastard. Well, if I lose that, I'm in trouble. Thank you. Oh, good. At least he didn't take the weapon with him. Thank God. Oh, this makes it so much easier. Playing again. Like I feel with online play, it's better off if you're friends. And I think a lot of gaming companies understand that. That's why a lot of things are very friend-based. They know if you are playing your friends, you'll enjoy it much more. Haha! <laughs> Two more! Let's go! Let's go! If I kill you before I go below 50 HP, I'm good. But yeah, it was always nice to... You know, at least get involved in the early days of online gaming. It's well so much now, it's like commonplace. Let's play multiplayer online now. It's like... It's weird how much local multiplayer has died because of online gaming, but... Well... I guess it's just the evolution of technology and how big online gaming has become, mainly because of Xbox and PC. I guess more so PC, because the uh, online gaming community for that was always there. Not to mention, all the frickin'... Oh, now you fucking don't die! Now you don't fall to the platform, dickhead. Yes! Woo! There we go, that killing ants really helped. The initial damage, 30, you would. But yeah, it's always nice to appreciate some of the earlier online gaming. I never even got to play Counter-Strike. I know that community was big. I know one of my younger brother's friends was into it. Because, well, yeah, it was a big online shooter. It's still arguably one of the biggest. Yeah, I've never taken part, never been part of an MMO community, because... Oh, I see we're in Magic Camp. That's why we're doing this. Okay. Who the hell's at the store, then? Don't worry about it. But yeah. Some of those online communities are big. I've never been part of the MMO community, though. I imagine some of those, though, like... I imagine there's some people who can probably get to the point that some of it feels like family. That, honestly, just sounds ridiculous. If you ever play with people in online games so much you think of them like family, I think you're fucking up somewhere. <laughs> that just feels like it's way too much time you're spending with these people. Are you confused? Good. You should be. Like, I'm gonna fall for that. Get the hell out of here. How about you land on it? Oh, wait, I can detonate it for you. See, I cleared out the space for you. You're welcome. So, eat it! Get the hell out of my way! I was not looking forward to getting Ness at all. I forgot I didn't have him yet. Did you not? May the power of Christ compel you! 
May the power of Christ compel you! This kid's got magic! He's got me a server of Dracula! Fuck you! I will show you what for. I do not want to deal with a servant of the freaking vampires. Damn it, I tied that late. I should have fired that sooner. Damn it! I saw it coming. Then again, how could you not? It's a giant whip. How could you not see this coming? Well, you couldn't see that coming, apparently. Eat shit. Yeah. Nurse George the Battle! I would not want to be part of a community where I start to feel like family on a video game. That honestly just would make me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> like, that's way too much dedication. You, like, if you spend more time with these people in your own family, that's fucked up. Ah, okay. Yeah, one of the Kid Icarus Uprising characters. All right. All right, then. Let's go, Ness. Time to get you your time machine. This is freaking great. I have all the original Smash characters except for Luigi. Huh, where the hell is Luigi anyway? Who knows? But yeah, there's only some friendships that can be made through online gaming. I do appreciate that to a point. Being able to cooperatively take down like a vicious foe and online gameplay, like things like Destiny nowadays is a big one. And Monster Hunter. Or being able to, you know, you're a dick. Okay, good. I was afraid this was gonna be a dud. He just loves weapons. Damn right, baby! Oh, that was a beautiful finish. Thank you, Ness. I didn't have to show off anything of you. <laughs> Should probably give me another fight, then. Because that was kind of worthless for you. All I did was use items. Eh, I had to watch him enough. We'll be fine. I'll, I'm gonna keep my roll up. Alright, well, let's go here in this episode. Basically, what well, this dojo's like. I feel like it's used for items. <laughs> right, hello there. If I teach my style, these are the effects you don't have. So basically, items will be better, but your regular attacks will be worse. That doesn't sound good at all. No more beer. I'll be waiting. Okay, fine. Leave me alone, bitch. I don't need you, man. You're not gonna be helpful for me. I don't need you. Oh, good. The full bill is done. Good. Let's get you out of there. Do I have anybody else that can be enhanced for? No. I should probably make sure. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I'll throw somebody else in there later. Yeah, nobody else, nobody else enhanced while I haven't enhanced already. Well, I may as well have all of you and see what you are now, so. Thanks for that. Let's see what our new summit is. So, you're able to be enhanced. And now you are, you become Bonsai Man. Yes. With Impact Run. Ooh, I got a dash through that. You're only two star, though. Eh, you'll be fine. Yeah, that's pretty useful in its own way. I haven't shown off dismissing or summoning spirits yet, either, have I? I don't think I have. Not worried about it. I'll just go by what's here in the base game. What's here in the base mode. I'm good otherwise. Yay, Super Sea Snail! Why does it look like a mushroom? That's from something. I don't know what it's from. It's from something. But yeah, I just more pre I more prefer doing local multiplayer myself because, well, yeah, I just would rather play with people I know directly and in person. I don't like having to play over the internet, you know. There's a lot of interaction you miss when you're playing online. Because, you know, nothing better than playing freaking Mario Party in person and actually having to deal with people's frustrations you dick them over. It's only right, you know? It's only right to see their reactions. Instead of just taking them over and wondering how they'll react. Now, honestly, rage quitting just feels like an immature dick move. I'm not a fan of the people that just rage quit. It just ain't right, man. You're getting rid of the whole fun of it! It's not fun if you're just gonna hide your reactions from me. I don't appreciate that at all. Gecko! God, I don't need to be whining of that. Metal Gear Zeke? What the fuck is Metal Gear Zeke? Is that from freaking uh, what's it called? The PSP one? Or five? I don't know. Well, you don't have anything useful for me right now, anyway. Yeah, but it's long. All my game has come a long way. I just still, personally, myself, prefer, you know, playing in person with everybody. Ooh, a king of evil. Let's go. Oh man, I miss his muscles. 
Yeah, I still prefer this look. At least I appreciate with, like, all the Zelda characters in this game. They do have, like, looks of, like, a lot of different Zelda games throughout the series. I do appreciate that. You got regular Link from Breath of the Wild. You got two Link from Wind Waker and the others. You got young Link, debatably, from Majora's Mask. Yeah, I'll go with Majora's Mask, because I think that is basically what they based it on. Because he can actually use a bow and arrow, unlike regular Link. You have Zelda from Link Between Worlds, and you have Ganondorf from Ocarina of Time. It's only right. No Twilight Princess representation, though. Then again, I'm still not the biggest fan of that 3D Zelda myself. Ganondorf joins the battle! And yet, I would prefer its style to Zelda game over Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom. Because that freaking field was open as fuck. Now I got the whole game that's open as fuck. And yet, I'm still willing to explore because of my nature to want to collect everything. They turned into a Ubisoft game, yet people still love it. And I'm a hypocrite because I was still willing to play the whole fucking thing. But yeah, online multiplayer is fun. Just, you know, it's better off playing with friends. But, you know, I somehow, mi I somehow miss the toxicity of the original community. As long as it wasn't targeted at me. <laughs> you can grow up and look past it. It's just childish fun at that point. You know, sometimes people gotta let off steam. Let them have some fun. Well, you know, let it out of the way, it's not gonna harm anybody. You know, as long as they're not saying anything, actually freaking will get somebody to do something very bad to themselves. Just call them names and leave it at that. And, well, if you can't take it, you probably shouldn't be playing online gaming. It should honestly be restricted for people that are only 18 or older, I would think. You shouldn't be having fucking 8-year-olds playing Call of Duty. I know it's the most, like, stereotypical, like, thing to have of kids playing those games. That is kind of what happens! And it's freaking frustrating! It's also bad parenting. That's also not good. Just know the community and try to not be a part of the toxicity of it, especially with the younger ones. The younger ones should be doing off their own thing. They should be playing shooters anyway. All right, we'll come back next time. We got more land to explore, including that rainbow over there. Got a whole land of the sky to explore. Which reminds me. Ah, this is how we get to Galeem, though. Ah. Now I want to go back and check up the train. God damn it. All right. Next time we're going to go back down and explore the train. But at least we got to explore some of the skies a bit. The sky's the limit. And that limit, if it wasn't obvious, is Galeem. Dude, you have like five wings? What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, how many wings do I see? One, two, three, four. That's six wings. How the fuck do you properly fly with that many wings? I just feel like they're getting away.